Role of Insulin Resistance in Liver Care Introduction Insulin resistance, IR, may be defined as a condition in which higher than normal insulin concentrations are needed to achieve normal metabolic responses. Normal insulin concentrations fail to achieve a normal metabolic response. IR is the common characteristic of metabolic syndrome and its related features. It is a systematic disease affecting the nervous system, muscles, pancreas, kidney, heart, immune system and liver. Furthermore, the liver has a significant role in the control of glucose homeostasis in the body. The association between chronic liver disease, CLD and IR has been known for a long time. Such association may be due to a standard mechanism that leads to diseases such as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, hemochromatosis, autoimmune liver diseases and chronic hepatitis C, hepatogenous diabetes. Studies have shown 57% of cirrhotic patients with increased IR. These studies have also shown that the portal vein delivers blood glucose to the liver. Hence, hyperinsulinemia in patients with liver cirrhosis may be secondary to either hepatic parenchymal cell damage or portal systemic shunting. This leads to the development of diabetes mellitus in cirrhosis patients due to IR, termed hepatogenous diabetes, insulin resistance and NAFLD. It has been established that IR is a potential nexus between type 2 diabetes and NAFLD. NAFLD is strongly associated with hepatic and adipose tissue insulin resistance and reduced whole body insulin sensitivity. Several studies have documented a 45 to 50 percent reduction in glucose disposal and an impaired ability of insulin to suppress endogenous glucose production indicative of hepatic insulin resistance. Similarly, on a hepatocellular level, IR has been associated with abnormal lipid handling, leading to fat accumulation in hepatocytes causing fatty liver. Over time, IR and fatty liver lead to glucolipotoxicity, which stimulates ROS generation and increases endoplasmic reticulum stress, resulting in cell death, for example, apoptosis and necroptosis. These dead cells stimulate inflammatory cell infiltration to the liver, leading to fibrogenic gene expression in the hepatic stellate cell. All these factors lead to collagen accumulation in the liver, leading to liver fibrosis, which could further progress to cirrhosis or liver cancer if left untreated. Management of IR Lifestyle intervention represents the cornerstone of treatment for IR. Dietary intervention should include a combination of calorie restriction, sodium restriction, fat reduction and high glycemic index carbohydrate reduction. Physical activity improves both calorie expenditure and IR in muscle tissue. Studies have shown that 5 to 10% weight loss can help reduce the risk of insulin resistance related comorbidities. Additionally, pharmacological therapies can help in treating IR such as metformin, glucagon-like peptide 1 inhibitor, sodium glucose co-transporter 2 inhibitors, thiazolidinidiones, depeptidyl peptidase 4 inhibitor, herbal medications like LIV-52. A study conducted in 2014 showed that LIV-52 extract helped reduce steatosis, collagen deposition and necrosis in hepatic tissues. The study also showed that the polyherbal formulation had antifibrotic and antinecrotic properties and could reverse metabolic and histological changes associated with liver disease.